I have the butterfly gun. Every time I have to, I gotta try to get close to him, I'm concentrating on his hands. Even I don't need his hands, I concentrate on his hands because that's what you're gonna decide if he's gonna stop me to get close or if he's gonna really get close to me. So every time I try to get close to him, I try to do with his hands. Whatever his hands goes, I try to fall, you know what I mean? And then I'm gonna get this control over here. Right. So in this control, I'm gonna get the closest possible and now I'm gonna just like uh, explode in the same way how I explode to get up, you gotta explode to try to like, sweep. So I'm gonna tie the head to the to his arm and then I'm gonna just butterfly sweep. Like that. And just end yourself on top. One more time. Like this. I want you guys to walk from to try to get close, you know. Got this control and just it's, it's got to be almost like a troll, you know. You start and you just like hit the guy on the mat, put the guy on the mat. So I have this. Make sure like uh, you end on top. Doesn't let it, don't let it go away of you, so put your weight on top of him and try to get on the hook. No matter if it's like a half guard or in like a full side control, just make sure you, you try to get like uh, on the hook to finish and establish the position. Never go like a, on your on your back. Just land on your side. So I have this. You see how on my side, my back is like complete out of the mat and just get on top. I don't know if you guys realize, but even if you give them the hook for me, sometimes my option is not getting on the hook and just try like a play this sweep from here. It's not because I'm giving the chance you not know, to to. To defend or do the the to me work the position without the hook, but I want to try like set up a submission because from here even if he's like a, if he's alert to to defend even if he's base no once I try like a walk the submission walk like the sweep the hand on the neck is gotta work to just like pull him down after if he if he defend if he's base you see his arm open you see his hip lower low you understand no. You know what I'm saying? You see his low, I want you guys from the hand on the back of the neck, just pull him down. Pull him down at the same time when I climb to get on top. Once I get on top, the other hands are right around the neck. So this one pull him down, bring me to the top, and the other hand just go around the neck. I was already lost his arm, so the hand from the arm go on the neck. The hand was on top, just like uh, grab the, the first hand. First hand is the one who go under the neck. Second hand is the one who goes on top of the neck. And on top of the of, of the head, and now the second hand just put the elbow. Don't fall. Put the elbow on top like that. Elbow on top of the shoulder. Just you don't let it hit. get close. Let me try to get close. If you get that close, get close. Now he, I can squeeze. So get your arm in between that. Just to stop. One more time. So the other person to really defend the move, he got just base. But every time he bays, probably he's going to be low, and you try to climb yourself on top. I have this. I get on top, now I don't need this hand. I have my armpit, I have my chest on top of him. Hand goes under. Now I fall back with the head from the same side of my first arm, and elbow goes on top. One thing, guys, from this position, a lot of the time now he decides to give the sweep. Because he's still the pressure, he gives the sweep. You gotta trap him. You know, can you can you rotate the other way? So just trap every after you realize that if you really have the cushion, just trap in the half cup. Don't let him give the sweep now. Now you guys know you guys have something better. So try get the, the guillotine, land on your back and trap in the half cup after you have the guillotine. Don't trap in the half cup from the bottom, you know, if you don't have like a good position. So have this. I'm in between, just squeeze. 